Carlos is 31 years old, 172 centimeters tall. He's K1 champion of Spain in 2017, runner-up for the world title in K1 in 2015. One more time, show your appreciation for Carlos Garcia. Okay, for the first bout here from the Pro Fight Sensation 9, I'm joined once again by Semi Shield, the K1 legend, full time K1 heavyweight champion. And in the first fight, we're going to see Carlos Garcia from see, Hispania versus Dragomir now, Petro from Bulgaria. Let me present you his opponent in the blue corner from our homeland, Bulgaria. Make some noise for Dragomir Petro! Petrov already has two wins in the Ring of Senshi. This will be his third appearance. His debut was here in Camp Chia. Dragomir is CFC Rokan Muay Thai champion in 2019, champion at Wizard in 2019, champion at Max Fight in 2019, champion at Senshi in 2020 and 2021. Good luck to you both, guys. Old fighters weighing in at 70 kilograms. A slight height advantage for Dragomir Petrov, just six centimeters. But his opponent is four years older than him, so he'll be a bit more experienced, probably. It seems like Carlos doesn't want to take away his. <laughs> His uh, medal, or what is that on his chest? I don't know. And his traditional Muay Thai thing on his head. How do they call those Muay Thai things that they put on the head? Uh, <laughs> I want to know about it. I'm sorry. <laughs> is he gonna take it off, or is he gonna keep it with him? <laughs> uh, they forget it, I think. Yeah, that's when the adrenaline kicks in, and yeah. you start forgetting stuff. And everything is ready. They receive final instructions from Ernesto Hus. And we're ready to go with the first pro fight here. Dragomir Petrov looking for his third victory in the ring of Senshi. His opponent, Carlos Garcia, looking to win in his debut. Strong start for Petrov. Hey. Yes, one thing you want to do from the beginning is to earn the respect from your opponent, right? You have to make him respect you right away. That's what Petrov is doing now. His right hand is uh, doing a pretty good job for him right now. Again with the right hand. Even if it's landing on the gloves, it seems like it's moving his opponent pretty good. Petrov looks really sharp yeah. with his movement. Yeah, real nice uh, tempo. Mm. A little slippery in the ring. Yeah. Now Carlos starting to work on his combinations. He weathered the storm. Strong knee. Yeah. But it's not over yet. <laughs> Seems like the defense is of Carlos is pretty good. Uh, he doesn't receive too many punches to the head and to the body. It's, it seems like it's most landing on the gloves and the hands of him. Yeah, but still the impact is there also uh, if the punches are on the gloves. Yes, and in the judge's eyes it uh, looks good for Petrov. Yeah. This is really good, working the punches, follow with uh, the low kick, kneeing. But yeah, you could take, you could say that Carlos is uh, really experienced. He's, he's taking the damage really well and he does not show any emotion, any weakness. No. Here the Bulgarian supporters chanting 
supporting Dragomir Petrov. Petrov working with the uppercut. Oh, now a nice high kick attempt. What it looks like to me though, that in this first round, Dragomir Petrov gave most of his best punches and still Carlos took them pretty well. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna see, you know, what time's gonna do. Yes, that damage might accumulate. End of round one. Very nice round. Yes, pretty good work by Petro, pretty good tempo, and pretty good endurance and uh, pretty good defense by Carlos, I could say. I don't know how many more of those punches and uh, kicks he could take, but uh, so far he's handling it pretty well. The thing here is that clinching is not allowed, like in the KW Senshi rules matches that we saw before. So yeah, I think it's only a clinching, only a one technique. Eh? So you, you you take it one technique and then you have to let go. So yes, yes. It's not like you try to throw or uh, you get a point for that. Yes, yes. And you cannot work for five, six, seven no, seconds. No, 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 no. Yes. Another thing is that elbows are not allowed here in this rule set. Fighters are ready for round two. Front kick by Petrov to open up for a start. Carlos keeps on going forward. Yeah, Carlos is doing a lot more now at this moment <laughs> in walking forward. <laughs> but also the low kicks getting in. Well, that's why I think uh, we should see more from Petrov jabs and straight punches to the body so he can open up the head because most of his attacks are to the head. Yeah. And uh, Garcia is defending pretty well. Now a nice uppercut through the guard. Seems like Carlos uh, slept through the first round. Now he's yeah. waking up. Uh, yeah. Oh, no. now a nice spinning yes. back. Was that a back elbow or was it a fist? Something in between. High kick attempt by Carlos. Now Dragomir responds with the same. That's one thing you uh, you taught in your seminars to copy the opponent, right? <laughs> yes. You, yes, we did like a game. Drill. We did a game like a uh, copycat. You know, uh, you have to copy what your opponent doing. <laughs> but then I said, you have to do one thing more. <coughs> you know, so uh, when you copy plus one, yeah, yes. you will win the fight. <laughs> Now a nice knee by Dragomir Petrov. Both fighters uh, seem to get a little bit dirty with each other, pushing each other left and right. Yeah. Oh, now a nice knee by Dragomir Petrov. What is the chin of uh, Carlos made of? It seems like he can he can take a lot of punish, punishment and keep on going. Yeah, but as you can see before your fight already. <laughs> he, <laughs> yeah. he had a lot of punishment on the head, I think. Yeah, good low kick, the low kicks, yeah. They're yes, not I, blocked. I, I think that uh, Dragomir should look more for body punches and uh, kicks to open up the head strikes because all he's looking for is the head strikes. Yeah.
really, really tough car was really not yeah. giving anything. Yes. Not giving anything away. End of round two. Pretty decisive one for Dragomir Petrov again. So in the third and final round, uh, Carlos Garcia will have to look for a knockdown at least. Yeah, but maybe you wake up a little bit more, eh? Like, like <laughs> yeah. in the second, now the third round. Yeah. So now he should be fully yeah, awake. Maybe and, uh, at around 12 o'clock he will be <laughs> fully awakened. No, I think uh, respect. He can get a lot of uh, damage in the head. Of course. Of and course. Uh, and, uh, and uh, he kept fighting. And sometimes you you can fight as much as the other one gives you. Even even if you're giving your best, you're fighting as much as the other one gives you. You know, if yeah. he's just clearly better than you, there's nothing much you can do. Yeah. You need two fighters for a good fight, huh? Yes. Of course. Yeah, what a tough guy Carlos is. Dragomir Petrov seemed to be breathing really calmly. Now a kiss by <laughs> Carlos in traditional Spanish way. I oh, kicked nice by Carlos. That was nice. Now Petrov really pushing up the pace. He doesn't just want to win, he want to win decisively. That's how it is. If you want to stay in the ring of Senshi, you have to impress. Yeah, but Carlos still walking forward. Yeah. He, he's like a zombie man, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Still foot. coming back and still coming back with his low kicks. Oh, yeah. That landed in the neck of uh, Dragomir Petrov and he just pushed his opponent forward. Now he tried to push the glove down of his opponent and then the strike, that's a sneaky move, huh? Yeah. And a sidestep, nice, very nice game of Dragomir Petrov. Even if he doesn't get the knockout tonight, I can see that he has grown and really matured in his game from his last performances and he's ready for a bigger challenge after that. Yeah, I think he's relaxed. Hey. If I very controlled. Yes, yes. And he looks, uh, he looks good. He looks big for that division, 70 yeah. kilograms also. He looks strong for it. Oh, oh no, nice. nice. Thing. <laughs> and they still we have to make a point for them. Before, before he gets uh, gets on, warning. yeah, gets on to punch both of them. <laughs> Fifteen seconds left of round three. Oh, that was great. Yeah. Landa, as soon as Carlos lifted his leg <laughs> to block. What are they doing? They're still fighting. The <laughs> fight's not over. What happened? Uh, was this the final bell? I don't know. I didn't hear the bell. <laughs> Maybe we didn't hear the final bell. I don't no, know. I don't, uh... Yeah, Dragomir Petrov lifted the hand of his opponent. He really, uh, uh, was a good man. he really deserves credit for taking so much damage and keeping, yes. keeping on fighting. He might not win the fight, but he won the heart of the of the fans tonight. 
That that was a perfect inside low kick. <laughs> Ernesto has to get the decision. It's great to see sportsmanship and good behavior after the fight. It's really nice now. This is not the first time with the audience. Yes. Uh, again, it's a long time, so... Yes, it's, it's great. It's it's a, this amazing. was a great start for the professional fights in Senshi 9. Make some noise for this gentleman tonight. And your winner by a unanimous decision in the blue corner from Bulgaria, Dragomir Petrov. Great work for Drago again. Make some noise for his opponent as well. He wants to tell something, but you have to talk yes, just a while. He wants to thank everybody who is here to support him. He wants to thank the organizers from KWU Senshi. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you very much, guys. Prize for Dragomir will be given by Mr. Alex Engelhardt, president of WACO Netherlands. One more time, make some noise for Bulgaria and the blue corner. And first winner in Senshi 9, Dragomir Petro. WACO Netherlands, huh? Yeah. Let's show appreciation for his opponent in the red corner, Carlos Garcia from Spain. This guy gave really a tough fight. Third win tonight. in three fights for Dragomir Petrov in Senshi here. And the I wonder what are the upcoming challenges for him. This, uh, this is a division Engelhard, that is also really stacked with talent. Uh, 70, 75, 80 kilograms. Those are like the divisions with the most talent in them. Dragomir Petrov. No, it was a nice fight. It was a good control. And Garcia, a really tough guy. Yes, so. yes. And you can see the transition from the pro guys, from the amateur guys to the pro guys, how differently they behave in the ring. Yeah, the level, eh? you see that yes, really the yes. level change. There are levels to this stuff. Yes. Coaches, coaches, please step in the ring. You can step in the ring for a picture together. This is a real fair play. This happens only in Senshi, ladies and gentlemen.